You're one of those guys, though, that in Pittsburgh, like, you have a good reputation. Everyone yeah. seems to get along with you. Yeah, for the most part. But then the every part, now yeah. and then, there's always, like, a headliner that will come into the town. Like, you know, cause you work with them and you look forward to it, but then there's, like, a shitty experience. Have you ever yeah. had somebody? I, of course I did. Ari Spears. Uh, Mad TV. Yeah, Ari Spears, yeah. And, and, I, and it's, it's unfortunate because I was a fan of Ari Spears until I worked with Ari Spears. Now, I had worked with Ari Spears... This is all right. Let's let's take this back. Now I've been doing comedy 17 years. I've worked with every comedian that came through the Pittsburgh Improv at one time or another. You were with Chappelle I, last year I was too. With, yeah, I was with, I've been with Chappelle. Now here's the deal. I worked with Aries. We had a good time. I took Aries out on the town. Me, Ricardo Coakley. He was one of our defensive backs. You remember him? 21. Yes, number 21. We all went out, took him on the town, got him bottles, got him permanies afterwards. He, he, I didn't see him for about five years. He comes back. I was I was opening up for him again. He didn't even remember the shit. He had no idea. He was like, I, I, I don't remember. That, so that shows you how off he is as a person anyways. Like, right. how the hell do you not remember I took you out and fed you pop bottles with you, got women, went to Permanis? Yeah, because no feature's going to have that type of money. They're the brokest on the card. Exactly. Yeah. So, so he didn't remember. Long story short, he comes back. He's being all weird. He's wearing these headphones like he does. He walks around the club, doesn't talk to anybody. Really weird. And he's always pacing in the back of the room instead of being in the green room like, where most headliners are. Right. So he's pacing, pacing. MC goes on, does her thing. I go on and do my thing. Whenever I get off, he goes on. The manager from the improv calls me into the, uh, into the office and goes, hey, man, T, we're going to have the uh, first and only time this ever happened, we're going to have to let you go this weekend off the show. They fired me off the show. Because you were killing? I was smashing. Yeah. And he said I was, he said I was crossing over on his material. I'm like, listen, I mean, if we're talking about cereal and I say Fruit Loops and you say Corn Flakes, it's two different types of cereals out there. You know what I mean? Yeah. It wasn't like I was like Frosted Flakes and you were like Corn Flakes. You know what I mean? Like, right. So it's, it's one of those things that like, he got pissed because I was killing and said the, Wintis was his name at the time, but he was the GM at the Improv. And the he, GOAT. Yes. He was I miss, awesome. I miss Wintis. That's my guy, man. Yeah, man. Shout out to my boy Wintis, man, if you're out there watching this. Long story short, uh, he wanted a white feature. He wanted somebody who had no material, anything like his. So he fired me. And, and for that, it, I, can swear, can I, I can swear. Yeah. Fuck you, Eric Spears. Fuck you, dude. You fired me. You <laughs> took money out of my pocket. You took money from my family. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. And I heard you got knocked out on somebody's sitcom, too, or, 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 or podcast. Corey Holcomb shit. Somebody punched you in the mouth. Thank you to that person. That's right, next for year. For punching you. WrestleMania, brother! It's gonna be T Rogue versus Aerie Spears in a hack versus hack Hackamania! What you gonna do, brother? <laughs> Gotta love Matt Light, boy. Yo, would you whoop his ass? Would you whoop his ass? Listen to me. Listen to me. Aerie Spears looks like he is gonna have a diabetic seizure any minute now. Yeah, dude, he looks like a sick grave. Oh, man, he looks like he's just taking oxygen sips. <laughs> just. <laughs> Just barely staying alive. <laughs> We're not going to have him on the show.